Well, the show that made it cool to be yourself and turned high school choir class into a rock star class takes its final bow tonight. Glee was not just a TV show, it was kind of a musical phenomenon. And way before that, Fox sent its unknown cast on the road to publicize the show. And that included a stop in Dallas. Jenny and Chando takes a look back. When we look back on our time here, we should be proud. Tonight, a television phenomenon makes its curtain call. Six seasons, tens of millions of songs sold, a Golden Globe, an Emmy, a Peabody Award. And it was only five years ago, they were stuck in a freight elevator in Dallas. And it's moving slow. The young cast of Glee came to North Texas and invited us along for the ride. The Glee you didn't see until now. <laughs> Did you hear that accent just come out? He's been here one day. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Dallas was stop number eight on a 10 city tour. They sat for a moment to quickly reflect on their crest of stardom. It's already weird. Someone asked me to bless their baby. Baby, and I said, bless. That's all I did. I, know, I don't know how you bless an unborn baby. For Mark, a quick nap, but it's okay. He's home. A graduate of Lake Highlands, Mark is one of two North Texans who star on Glee. I'm also a Mavericks fan. Okay. Just as much as I am a Cowboy fan. Go Cowboys. <laughs> like a well-trained and fashion-forward battalion, the Glee cast moves out, headed to meet their fans at the Galleria. Keep in mind that the show has yet to actually debut, but hundreds were already in line waiting to meet them. From just a few hours, it's clear these young stars, A, really like each other, and B, musically, are the real deal. Next stop, Denver, but there's still time to kill and for the kid from Canada, a delightful discovery. In less than a couple of months, their pictures would be on every publication, their voices at the top of the charts, their fame spreading around the world. But for now, it's just a trip around the rink. Don't stop believing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's like the cheesiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Jenny Anchondo, Fox 4 News. My Texas experience. Well, you can see the two hour series finale on Glee tonight at 7 on Fox 4. Among the many highlights will be a special tribute to the late star Corey Monteith. Nice to see him there, all smiles. Goodness. Leah Michelle won't be gone from Fox for long. She's starring mm -hmm. in a new Fox comedy thriller this fall that's called Scream Queens. Uh, we're told after they finished filming uh, the final scenes, in the school auditorium, they took the chainsaws to so the set. So they filmed on the last one, the last right. filming and on the And then they tore the set apart, and they were nice enough to send us part of the floor and the <laughs> stage. <laughs> so that's the actual floor from the Glee set. That's well, a little tiny bit of the floor from the Glee set. But yes, it is. It's very nice. Don't touch it. Yeah, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> uh, I don't Keep know. It. <laughs>